and welcome to Breeding Appaloosa Horses in Rival Stars. Now I had a few comments suggest this video and I was interested to see what we might actually get today. However, before we start, I just wanted to say if you'd like to partake in an upcoming video called Recreating My Subscribers Horses, go ahead and send me a full body clear picture of your horse to abigailpinehaven at gmail.com. If your horse has extra markings like face markings or leg markings, make sure to snap a photo of those two and send them over so that I can get as close as possible. So today we are breeding Appaloosas. Now I found a fun fact, essentially the Appaloosa Horse Club, which is sort of like the, the breed registry to get your horse like verified that it's like class as an Appaloosa, sort of goes by around six patterns and sort of everything in between these patterns. And they are your classic blanket. And I didn't actually know this, Roan comes under Appaloosa. I had no idea that, that Roan came under Appaloosa, so there you go. Also Roan blanket which is like sort of a mix between the two previous ones. Then we have Leopard, of course, I think Leopard Appaloosas are gorgeous. Then Grulla, I think those are really pretty as well. And Snowcap Blanket. So those are sort of the guidelines of Appaloosas. And I will admit, I sort of just got into the horse creator and just kind of picked any of the ones that said Appaloosa to try and make my life a little bit easier. So if we jump into it, Rival Stars has changed a little bit since the last time I've done a video. The horse creator is actually within the game itself now. At first, I really liked this idea, but every time that you buy a horse from within the horse creator, it sends you back to this screen again. So you have to go all the way through to the horse creator. I know this is kind of a niche thing that I'm going to be buying a lot of custom creation horses but it would be nice to be able to stay in that screen and just sort of like bang out a load of horses to buy all together just some feedback for the rival stars team but now this is interesting because this is actually my rare slash exotic horses save and you might have already seen daylight. I can't actually, I'm pretty sure you have already seen daylight in a couple of the other sort of rare breeding videos. So I've kept her in because her coat is sparse leopard. And as you heard before, leopard appaloosa, well, comes into the appaloosa, that makes sense. Then we have warm charity. Warm charity is interesting because it's actually daylight's daughter. Yes, yeah, daylight's daughter, but she was actually a thumbnail horse. She's in this thumbnail here. So I didn't actually get a video of breeding her, but I figure because she has a little bit more pedigree, this might work either against us or for us, I don't know. I also created a horse called Baroness. Now she is an Appaloosa mask, which I thought was a really cool pattern. Then we have Antique, which is the usual blanket Appaloosa mare. She's so, so pretty, I'm a sucker for her. We have Diamond. Now this is a spotted Appaloosa and I think it looks really interesting compared to some of the other Appaloosa coats. This mare is a chestnut, gorgeous, gorgeous. Past is our stallion, he's a patchwork Appaloosa. Then we have Blackmail, who's a stallion. He's like like sort of a dark gray partial leopard. There was actually one more that I wanted to get, but I actually ran out of funds. If you notice up in the top, normally I have like a hundred thousand gold. This time I only have 20 million. No, I meant a hundred million gold. That's what I meant. But now I've only got 20 million because I've been breeding so much on this specific save. But that's fine, we're gonna work with it. Maybe we'll throw that horse in a little bit later on. So I'm gonna go over to our stallions, and we've got two to choose from. We've got past and blackmail. I'm gonna go with past first, and maybe once we sort of have a bit of pedigree in the foals, bring blackmail in from there. Now, I think I already covered the fact that, yeah, this screen has changed from what I remember it being and I think it's slightly easier to work around. So I think with past, I definitely want to see diamond and past. I feel like they have kind of similar coats. So maybe that'll work out well, I do not know. Let's go ahead and breed them. Then we're going to go with past, uh, definitely past and baroness. I want to see how these two come out, 100%. And finally, because we only have three stalls, we've got past and who should we pick? I, I kind of want to go with warm charity. Yeah, I'll go with Warm Charity because she has a bit of pedigree already. So we'll see how how that sort of works out. So we're going to go ahead and skip Diamond to see what we get. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that happened. Okay, so our first foal is actually an Appaloosa. I don't know if that's happened before, like first go getting the type of coat that I wanted, but that's awesome. I'm so happy. So they did also add a sell foal to this screen so you don't have to basically grow the horse up and then sell it. So that's quite handy dandy. But this is a stallion. Fire is a good name. I'm gonna go with Fire. Now he looks a lot like his dad, 
but he's a different base coat and we'll probably have like different hidden genes as well. So, um, actually, wait, no, we bred with past. This was his dad. Blackmail and full fire look exactly the same. Oh, that's so strange. What was the chance of that happening? Interesting. Oh, you know, oh no. Because one charity has pedigree, but not that coat pedigree. Interesting. I still don't understand how breeding works in this game in terms of like how it generates the coats. I know some of it is randomized due to the fact that some horses don't have pedigree, but it's still really interesting. So next up, we've got Baroness. Now I hope we don't get that pattern because it's interesting, but I, I'm not a huge fan of it, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and skip. <gasps> Yes, we got a blanket. Is that a blanket Appaloosa? I think it is. That's two in a row. That is two in a row that we've got Appaloosas. That's so much fun. Okay, so since I'm not breeding for coats, maybe I have a higher chance of getting the pattern that I want, which is awesome. I might have to do paints slash pintos slash tobianos because I don't know. I think I've been told this before. I think paint holes is a breed and tobiano is the paint color. I'm not explaining myself very well, but you probably know what I mean. Let's go ahead and skip to Mare. Uh, so we've got Miniature Blizzard. Oh, that's such a cute name for her. Oh, she darkened. Yes, she did darken. So she's more of like a classic sort of bay. Oh, she's so pretty. So that's two in a row. I'm so happy. We're actually getting the horses that we want. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm proper happy with that. Wait, we've got, have we got one more? We do. I forgot. Okay, so this is Warm Charity, which I thought was the mare we bred with before. But I'm being baboozled because it's not. Okay, Warm Charity. Let's see what we got. I think this one won't be an Appaloosa though. I was completely wrong. <gasps> oh, it's a Palomino. It's a Palomino. Oh, it's so cute and it's a stallion. Ah, he's so cute. Okay, what do we call him? Mystic. I'm just gonna call him Mystic because I, I feel like that's a cool name. That's so cute. He's adorable. I think he also counts as an Appaloosa because he's leopard, if I remember correctly. I'm so glad because I'm really happy with that coat color. Yes, and it's the sparse leopard. That's so cool. Look, wait, look at the pedigree. So always on their mum's side has been the exact same coat pattern. That's so cool. So Warm Charity is Mystic's mum and uh, Daylight is Warm Charity's mum. So that's his grand Granddam? Is that how you say granddam? I think it is. That's so cool. Okay, I'm proper happy with that. Should we switch past to blackmail? I'm starting to think I shouldn't because past has been really good. So we didn't do antique. We'll do antique now. We'll go ahead and breed. Heck yes. Then we can do... do, 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 do. Did we do Baroness? Yeah, we did. Did we do diamond? I can't remember. We'll do diamond. Oh, not this one. Okay, there we go. There's the right stud. So diamond and pass. And for our final one, we'll do past and we could do miniature blizzard, to be honest, because she's one of the new ones. Yeah, I think they have the same coat pattern. I wonder if that'll carry over. I wonder if that guarantees the, the baby to have the same coat pattern. I don't know. Let's find out. It's just like gambling. This is so much fun. I love this. Okay, so... We'll start with antique. Actually, I'll wait 13 seconds, so it's slightly less expensive. I definitely will have to do some races on this save to get my money up, but we should be fine for today. Da 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 da. I am a cheapskate. Okay, what did we get? Another Appaloosa. Wait, is that an Appaloosa? I'm gonna have to find out if that's an Appaloosa. If it is, that's the fourth one we've gotten. I'm gonna call it Destiny. That's a cute name. I can't tell off the bat. I'm gonna go off the name. Oh, I don't like that coat color. I'm not a fan of that one. <laughs> coat. Blotch Appaloosa. So it is. What's that's our fourth fall in a row? I think this is one of the most successful breedings I've done. Like for a video. That's insane. So we've got a four streak going. Will Diamond break it? We shall have to see. What have we got? Another Appaloosa. That's five. That's so lucky. I... I am hashtag blessed. I'm just gonna call it Autumn. Autumn's a nice name. This was a great suggestion, guys. I'm happy with this, because I feel like I haven't failed yet, so I can't complain, really, can I? Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Okay, that's that, and we've got one more to do, and then maybe I'll switch to Blackmail and breed with him for a little bit. Okay, Miniature Blizzard, let's see what you've given us. Another Appaloosa, that's six in a row. This one is so cute. I really hope her coat doesn't lighten though. I'm gonna be so sad if it lightens. I'm just gonna call her Wayward. Wayward's a cute name. 
Oh, she's stunning. Oh, she's so pretty. Definitely let me know in the comments which of the foals that we bred is your favorite and which of the custom creation horses are your favorite as well. I think Wayward is probably one of my favorites. I like Mystic's coat color, but I don't like that pattern. I'm not a fan of the sparse leopard. So cute though. Okay, I'm so happy. We're on a six fold streak. Okay, so I am gonna switch past with blackmail. I have this weird feeling that this is when we're gonna break our streak because past was very successful in giving us Appaloosas. So we'll have to see. Now that we have past sort of, oh no, blackmail. Yeah, so we switched out past for blackmail. I can breed with the babies and not feel weird about it. Wayward is 100% yes, I want to do that breeding. Then I want to do, I don't really like Destiny. I think I'll leave Destiny out of this one. We'll do Miniature Blizzard. That's such a cute name for an Appaloosa. Okay, we'll breed those two. And for our final one, I think I'll go back to, who was it? Warm Charity. Yeah, I'll do, I think I'll do Warm Charity. She was very successful as well. So we'll go ahead and breed all of those. Now we are down to our last 10 million. So we could probably do one more batch of breeding and then I'll probably have to go and do some racing to top up my funds. In the meantime, we'll wait 18 seconds to get a slightly cheaper discount on skipping. <laughs> okay, right. So we can now skip. Wayward, do not break our streak, please. I'm begging. Ooh, I don't think that's an Appaloosa. No, that's not an Appaloosa. Ah, we were six strong and I think it might be the stallion. I told you guys, I think that the stallion might change it. I'm gonna call her Ho Ho <laughs> Hosmos. There we go. She's so pretty, but she's not an Appaloosa. Let me just double check what the coat colors. Yeah, it's a Whisper Pinto. Mm, that's a shame. We've got enough stalls, I think, so I don't need to send him to the pasture. That's unfortunate, but that's okay because we still got two more to go. And if these don't produce any Appaloosas, I'm switching studs back because he was far more successful than Blackmail is. So let's see what Mitch Blizzard has made for us today. That is an Appaloosa, thank goodness. Okay, so we've got at least one Appaloosa so far. This is a gorgeous colt. I'm gonna go ahead and skip. I'm gonna call him Art Airbrushed is quite a cool name, but I'll go with Artist. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that look. It's very interesting though, very, very interesting. And we've got one more to do. I feel like this isn't going to be an Appaloosa, but we'll have to see. We will have to see. It's not. Oh, I've got spidey senses for this kind of thing. Okay, so it wasn't an Appaloosa. This looks like a Pinto of some sort. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna call you Witch, because that's a cool name. So, Blackmail's been tremendously less successful than the other stud we had, than, uh, who was it? Than Past. Past was much more successful in giving us Appaloosas, but, on the, the bright side, we actually have a couple stallions here, actually. Oh, I wanna use Mystic. Oh, I moved into the paddock. No, come back. Uh, what am I doing? Help. Okay, so I actually wanted to set him as a stud, not send him to the paddock because, not because I like his pattern, but because I like his coat. And I think that's silly, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So we're gonna switch Mystic back and I, I'm only going to breed with the Appaloosas that we got. So it's not gonna be all the foals that we bred. So we've got Mystic and Cosmos. No, Cosmos is a paint. Wayward, okay, we'll go Mystic and Wayward. Then we'll go. I really want to get a Blanket Appaloosa. So I'm gonna go with Antique again. If we could get a Blanket Appaloosa, that would be quite nice. Cause we've got quite extreme Appaloosas so far, which has been great, but I would like to see more like traditional Appaloosa, if you will. So we'll do, and Miniature Blizzard. Why not? Those two are super duper cute. Right, okay. So this will be our last batch of Appaloosas. And I will wait the 28 seconds to get it slightly cheaper. Although I guess it doesn't matter because it's only going to be three mil and I've got enough for it. Oh well. Right, okay, so now we can skip Wayward. What am I feeling? I'm feeling... I'm feeling not Appaloosa. Let's see if I'm right. 
I was wrong and I've never been happier to be wrong. Okay, I was completely off on that one. Maybe my spidey senses are failing me. I'm gonna call her Dawn. I don't know why that name came into my head, but we're gonna call her Dawn because I think that's cute. Now this was actually sort of the coat I was looking to get a more like traditional Appaloosa. This looks like a kind of horse you'd find in Red Dead and I, I appreciate that. Uh, actually, what is the coat called? Patchwork Appaloosa. I don't think I had any Patchwork Appaloosa before that. So that's really cool. It gave me an Appaloosa and a new type of Appaloosa as well. So we've got two more. We've got Miniature Blizzard and Antique. Hopefully, you've got something from Antique. Oh my gosh, that was exactly what I was talking about. Yes! Okay, so this is the traditional blanket Appaloosa. Brilliant. So, so happy with that. I'm gonna call her... I'm gonna call her Parcel, because I saw that come up. Not Parsec. Parcel. Right. Oh, I love- oh my gosh, I love that her coat darkened into like a chocolate bay. <gasps> That's gorgeous. It always looks different in the light of the stall. Yeah, she looks a, a bit lighter, but still gorgeous, gorgeous. This is a classic Blanket Appaloosa score, but can we finish it off on a high note? I do not know. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel like it definitely could go sideways, but we'll see. Miniature Blizzard, what have we got? Thank goodness, okay, we got another Appaloosa. This actually looks like one of the ones we got before, but I'm so, so happy. To be fair, that was pretty, pretty accurate. Like we got a lot of Appaloosas that time. I'm just gonna call this Dalian Fabulous because that's, that's a great name. Oh, so gorgeous. That deep chocolate bay as well. Stunning. So this one's called Patchwork Appaloosa. That's actually the same one as Dawn. All of these guys are so, so pretty. To be fair, there was only what? One, two, there was only two fails. And that's like, that's pretty good. I don't think I've ever had a video where I've only had two fails. I think most of the time it's like a, only a small percentage success, but this Appaloosa thing worked out really well. So I'm quite impressed. If you guys have a video suggestion or something you'd like to see me do or breed or race, whatever it is, please do let me know. And don't forget to send a picture of your horse to me, abigailpinehaven at gmail.com for a chance to get your horse recreated in a video. I'm very excited for that. So definitely send me some good pictures. Also let me know in the comments, which of these guys was your favorite? I think Mystic is definitely up there for me. Although I do like my classic blankets as well. So I did quite like antique. I do like my bays. I'm, I'm a bay gal. Yes, yeah, so let me know in the comments of which one is your favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.